<sighs> well, Omar, mm, yeah, caught between two violent cultures. Ugh. Well, right then, it just welled up in him to make a freaky statement for the good of of humankind. Well, what's around? How's he going to do that? Oh, there's some of those red kush berries. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, uh, that's a, some flint stone. So he mashes the kush berries up and makes this red mush. Then he strips all his clothes off. Uh, and, and, and smears this mush, red kush berry mush, all over him. Head to toe, dripping with red mush. Then, oh, look at that little uh, dusty spot there by the river. Oh, yes, yeah, Sandy. He dives into the riverbank uh, uh, where it's all sandy, fine sandy. And he thrashes around uh, like a manic, freaked out bird. Uh, imagine the result, huh? the red slop and the dust and the, well, the Uzbeks. Uh, unspinown to no, uh, Omar, oh, they won't tell the Patans about this 300-year-old legend. And what it was, was it? That, that a red man would appear, a Malung, from south of the Oxus, maybe from Balk. Uh, yeah, uh, he would appear out of the desert, and uh, his name would be Stan. Oh, yeah, the Uzbekis, Kazgiris, Tajikis, Abizjanis. <laughs> uh, they all, you know, 300 years, huh? First thing they were taught, here comes a red man. They were waiting. I mean, this is worse than waiting for Jesus. Because, why? Because the red man would teach them the secret. <sighs> The secret of the molding hash. Yeah, what happens was, yeah, the Uzbekis and Kazgiris and, um, I mean, all those guys. They, you know, October, harvest time. I mean, it's just like in California, an Emerald Triangle up in the Golden Triangle up in, in Laos. You harvest your <laughs> good pot in October press it all up. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Then you have like a, a three-month uh, hookah bash. You know, well, the problem was by winter, you know, the winter solstice. Uh-oh, what are those green spots? Splushy spots? <laughs> Smells like ammonia. Hey, did the baby piss all over my shit? No. Oh, no. She says no. Uh, well, it, it molded. It rotted right in their hands. Now they throw it away. All their precious. <laughs> Same big peg. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, uh, so what did they have to do? The Uzbekis, huh? They had to raid. They had to zack their water buffalo belly drafts over the dam raging, now cold, icy cold Oxus River and rip off their neighbors, the Balkistanis, because the Balkistani Afghani clan, uh huh, hash not moldy. Good all year round. The secret of year round preservation. Oh. Yeah, so, but the problem was <laughs> you, know, you want to attack Afghanis, you're going to get <laughs> most of the year, uh huh. They're going to bite the dust, not thrashing it like Omar. I mean, he's having fun with dust. So, or swallow their pride. Uh, and coax coax oh, or how over the U.S. Though, could we possibly you know uh, do anything for you that would kind of you know 
at exorbitant barter rates. Oh, they, ah, ah. Or the alternative was to go up into the Yarkon Valley and, and get some of that assassin hashish coming from the descendants of Hashish John, the Rock of Alamont, the assassins. Oh, yeah, the Crusaders hated them. Ah, masters of nice. Oops. But that took a, a huge expedition. Get to get to Uzbekistan, to Badakhshan. You have to crawl through all that lapish, lajli, craggy gemstones everywhere, getting in your way. Well, I mean, they did try that, but what happened was they middled the job out to some Azerbaijani day laborers. You know, swam across the Oxus with no papers. Uh, the middlemen ripped off all the good stuff. I mean, galumph, galumph, it's a long, long mule ride between the Yarkon of the Chitralis. All the good stuff disappeared around the campfires on the way there. Well, they got something, but it was just... Uh, and did they switch out for... Jeez, oh, I mean, one problem after another. So, um, yeah, those middlemen from uh, Tashkent, Samarkand, Bokhara, Boku, the whole Caspian Sea crowd, you know, you just can't really, you know. They're not clan brothers. They're with their own tribe. Ethnocentric up the ass, those people. Well, um, yeah. So the Turkmenistans, Kazgiriskans, and the Uzbekistans. Jeez. <laughs> uh, oh, uh, going over those Kakar mountain passes. Mm -mm. <laughs> you ever run out of hashish when you really wanted to smoke a hookah? Can you feel their pain? What that's like? You'd rather have hash than money? Trade footsteps for it, if you're lucky. All right, well, mm -hmm. there's Omar doing his uh, freaky statement for mankind. The Uzbeks, like, checking him out. They got the legend, you know, to reflect on. <laughs> 